Hey there, this is Jess from Wax on Batik and Die Studio, and um, this is a really weird angle because uh, I want it to be perfect for when I swing it around to look at this t-shirt. So for now, I'm just going to have to pop in the frame like this. What I wanted to do with this video is show um, how to stamp the flower of life with something round. So there's a lot of tutorials out there about how to draw the flower of life, and that's cool, but I've already got a round thing. So I figured, all right, this is made out of circles. Um, I'm looking for the tutorial on how to stamp this uh, with a circle. Nothing, I couldn't find anything. So um, I'm gonna make one, and I'm gonna do it with hot wax. You don't have to use hot wax if you are stamping with like, something else or tracing a circle, whatever, but um, I really like the, the methodology for doing this. So let's swing around and do it. Um, so you won't be able to see me, but you'll be able to hear me. We're gonna be looking at this shirt. So here's an example of what I'm doing. Um, this is gonna go, I'm gonna stamp one, uh, where is it? Where's the top? Yeah, this is one and then Gosh, it's so hard. Okay, let's just do it. It's really hard to piece it out for me like when you're looking at it, but it, it makes so much sense when you do it. So um, I'm going to take my cookie hugger here and I'm going to put it in the hot wax, which you can barely see off camera. Um, but that's not really, this video is not really about how to batik. It's really more about how to stamp a flower of life. So you could do this with anything round um, that you are going to um, maybe stamp on like a stamp pad and stamp it down or a jar lid that you're going to trace around. But I just didn't, I didn't see that tutorial and I wanted one. So here we go. I'm going to make mine about an inch from the top of my um, canvas here. So this is the circle that you start with. The next circle down is going to be, it's going to overlap um, like this uh, about, what is that, like two thirds? It's like a really nice eyeball shape. So make your eyeball, ta-da, there's your eyeball. And now what we want to think of is this center line, right? You can see where the middle is. The next stamp we're going to do from the right and the left of the center line. So Think about this like the pupil. It's going to be, we're just creating this like cat's eye kind of tall, skinny pupil thing in the middle, right? So there we've established our first um, petal. The flower of life consists of six petals. So we just made number one here. Um, then we're going to go around. We're going to make two and three, and then we're going to make five, and then we're going to make four and six. So it goes, make this petal, make these, make this petal, make these. So you will see, we've made the top petal. Um, next, we're going to take our cookie cutter and we're going to make the top of petal two and one side of petal five. And then we're going to make the top of petal three and the other side of petal five. See, so we've got one, two, three, and five. And now with the next, the final stamp, there's only one more stamp, it finishes the top of petals four and six. Isn't that cool? So I just love that. I love that you can quickly stamp. So let's do one more, just in case you don't like rewinding, and I explain it better this time. It's always good to show it twice. So this is just my batiking setup here so that the wax doesn't go through to the back. Okay, so here we go. Get your stamp ready. And we've got top circle, which establishes the top of the whole shape. Second circle, which makes the eyeball. Right, you can see where the first little pupil petal thing is supposed to go. Let's make the left side of it by stamping on the right. And let's make the right side of it by stamping on the left. Voila, petal one. This next stamp is gonna make the top of petal two and the left side of petal five. And now we're gonna do the top of petal, is that six, I guess, the way I'm counting? Anyway, and finish it, ta-da! So cool, right? So, I hope that helps, bye!